Okay, you actually brought a forward a question from Bryce. Um, I believe he must be a follower of your Instagram. And so his question, he has a couple questions here. I'll ask the first one. Is FTD like other neurological disorders like dementia, Parkinson's, stroke, Alzheimer's? So yes, it is similar, but also not similar. Um, dementia is, like I said, an umbrella term. So things like Alzheimer's and the classic dementias, they affect your memory. So you're going to forget how to do things. You're going to forget the people that you love, um, names, all kinds of different things. You're going to forget how to do self-care. Um, with primary progressive aphasia, your memories are still intact. So it's almost like a locked-in syndrome where you cannot communicate. You lose the meaning of words. So it's all about incoming, outgoing information, written, spoken language. And there's just this vast barrier that nobody really understands. Because if you look at my mom, if my mom went to a hospital right now, they would say, oh, she's she's so confused. It doesn't matter. We don't need to teach her anything. We don't even need to try because, oh, she has dementia. And that's actually not the case at all. She knows exactly what she's talking about. She gets scared and she understands to some degree. But when you ask her questions, what's your name? Where are you at? Like those basic questions that they will ask you in the hospital to base orientation status. She can't answer any of them. But if you have, if you ask her about a situation and you know about the situation, she will tell you certain things and you can connect. But it's, you have to be extremely in tune with that person and know the background situation because otherwise, like, you just don't understand at all. And it's, it's sad because if people don't have an advocate for them, they get lost. Wow. Okay. I, so you're the first person I've spoken with who, who is the caregiver of a family member with primary progressive aphasia. And that's the most detailed description I've heard. And uh, that's, that sounds really, really rough. Wow. Can I also add something um, with that too? So kind of going along with the question that you had before, is primary progressive aphasia like other dementias? And I will say that from the research that I've done, when you're at the end stages of this primary progressive form, um, it will mimic other types of dementias. Um, your memory will start to go. And um, it. I don't know at what point, you know, that starts to happen, but I have noticed certain memory issues um, with my mom because, I mean, I, I have to prompt her to take showers and how to use shampoo and um, ask her about a fork. I say, hey, can you get me two forks or, you know, two plates while we're making dinner? And that word plate she goes plate like she hasn't heard the word before sometimes she'll grab a plate sometimes she'll grab a fork and even though i have the word labeled like in our in our drawers it's like you're asking for it's like i'm speaking a foreign language and it's so bizarre like because sometimes she understands and sometimes she doesn't and there's no rhyme or reason for any of it so it is wild. It is wild. It's a wild ride. <laughs>